Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character accessible by me. So let's get into it. Gyu to Miyoka. Now Gyu always wore like really formal clothes. So I never really expected to see him wearing shorts. It's a weird occurrence. And you couldn't help but keep staring at him. As if you were just seeing something from another reality. Was that really your boyfriend? You? And was he really wearing this? He just tends to never wear stuff like that. But now that he does, you can't help but be overjoyed about it. And many other things as well. But you cannot quite put them into words. Not when your mind is so busy staring at him. And you can't help but want to reach out and hold him. Because he looks so beautiful. And you couldn't help but want to more than just look. After all, the two of you were dating. You probably had some special advantages of doing more than just looking at him, which anyone else could do. You wanted to reach out and maybe put a hand on his eye. Maybe just do that. That's all you ever wanted. And after pondering it over for some time, you decided it would be worth a shot. And that's exactly what you do after that. You sit next to him, put a hand over his eye, and you look up at his face, trying to see his reaction. He tilts his head, looking at you in absolute confusion. Are you alright, Mayan? You've been acting strange, and you've been staring at me. He asks, totally not understanding what's going on. And then hits you that he does not know the effect that he has on you when he's wearing shorts like these. You don't know if that's your advantage or not. But for now, you will let him be and enjoy yourself as you want without him panicking too much over it. You do give him a kiss on the cheek, though. He just looks so beautiful and so adorable. His confusion was always a little bit too endearing. And you couldn't help but want to spoil him with love and... Perhaps, coddle him a little bit, but the two of you are lovers, so it's the least you could possibly do. You're not to be blamed for it, truly. Ringaku. Now, Ringaku probably wore shorts in front of you before, but right now, he just looks special. Maybe it was the fact that he was shirtless as well, and wearing those shorts. It made you look at him. In ways you probably shouldn't. Your eyes going all over him. And he did not notice. Or if he did, he did not make it obvious. He just kept looking and looking. Wondering if he will notice you. Wondering if he will be caught. And that's when you realize you probably should stop wondering so much. And do some action. Do something. Perhaps not just stare like this without... Without doing anything about what you want. So after taking a deep breath, you sat next to him, wrapping your arms around him and resting your head on his chest, which was already a dream of yours. Damn it. He did not know how much power he had over you when he was like this. And if he did, you would not hear the end of it. So you keep your mouth shut and try to act subtle. But you're not really good at it because he notices how you're staring at his thighs, at his abs, and at, well, everything. You know, Mayan, we're dating for a reason, and soon we might even get married. So, there's no reason to be so embarrassed. I'm yours, just as you are mine. Rengaku says softly, not teasing you. And it actually surprises you that he was not teasing or trying to get a reaction out of you. He kisses your cheek. And you mouth into his arms. Smiling softly. I love you. And I love you too. Now come on. Tell me whatever you want to do. I'm all up for it. You blush brightly. You certainly did not expect that much enthusiasm from him. But... You were not going to say no to that. After all, he was not the only one who was enthusiastic and quite excited. Because you were too. 
Very much so. Mitro. Now, Mitro was totally oblivious. But it was not oblivious to your staring because he noticed it. The way there was something off about you the entire day. The way your eyes were about to blow a hole through his shorts and his legs and... Damn. How were you acting that way? He had no idea. And he just kept looking at you. Staring right back. When you were caught, you would always turn your head away. Or just look at him and smile awkwardly. But then he just kept staring and staring. As if getting into a contest with you of some sort. Before he just lets out a sigh. You know, Wyan. There is nothing you need to hide from me. You can just tell me what's going on. Did something bad happen? And you stare at him for a little bit. Caught off guard. Oh, that staring. And you thought you were... Thinking of something you want to tell him? Oh, Mitro. He's truly too good for this world. You shake your head. Blushing and laughing a little bit. If I was staring because of something bad, I would not be staring at your rear. You say softly. And he goes red. And he couldn't tell but burst out laughing. Because he was truly too shy. And that was something you always loved about him. Then... Then why are you staring at me like that? He says, his voice trembling ever so slightly. And you smile fondly, going over to him and holding his hands. I'm just not used to seeing you wear shorts, darling. They look beautiful on you. And after some hesitation, and a pout from him, and some silence as well, he looks back at you again. Are you sure? Yes, I am. I'm quite sure. And then he lets out a soft sigh. He's not really sure what to think about this. He's not adorable, or, or pretty in the way that you think he is. At least that's what he knows, and thinks. But, he knows that you also don't see things the way he does. And there was no convincing you otherwise. Whatever you say, Ion. If you think, if you think that, then... I guess I can't convince you otherwise. You're right about that. So? You kiss his cheek, putting your hands on his thighs. How about we have some time for ourselves tonight? Just me and you. We don't have to go to our friends like we planned. We can just send a pigeon over or something. He laughs at you. Perhaps maybe you could do that. I would like that. He does give in. After all, he can't say no to such offer, not when he wants you so badly as well.